seven o'clock, it's Tuesday morning, and you're watching The Breakfast Show here on CBBC. Here's Liam, I'm Adrian, and all of this is coming up at 20 past seven today. We've got those pocket dragons, and they have to stop a thief in the night. There are more adventures with those secretive blue little creatures. That's the Smurfs this morning at 7.35. On today's Blue Peter, rock climbing and singer Lisa Roxanne. And we'll be setting another mission this week for Agent L and Agent M, commonly known as Liam. Yes, and also Liam, get excited because we also have these guys. Yes, Steps will be here in the studio this morning for breakfast. I'm very, very excited. Your Steps are one of my favourite bands. They'll be sticking around for the rest of the breakfast show. But right now though, here's Play Days. Playground stop. Girls and boys come out to play. Let's do some painting today. Look, I said you've got the same line. Oh, hello. Unfortunately, it's raining in the playground today, but we're going to have fun come rain or shine, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Now, sometimes when it's sunny, it rains as well at the same time. And do you know what happens then? You get a rainbow. You get a rainbow. Well done. Well, as you can see, it's not very sunny here at the moment, but I think we could make our own rainbows to brighten up the playground. What do you think? Yeah! yeah brilliant! Why don't we get organised? Why don't you join Dave and find out what he's up to today? <laughs> <laughs> who's there? Well, today we're going to be uh, painting pictures of ourselves and of our toys as well. Now, what I'm doing, especially with young Tom here, is I am drawing a big line around him, and Tom has to do his best to stay very still. You quite still, Tom? And there, I think we've done it. Tom, you can get up now. <laughs> you can. You can have a look at this. Off you go. Ready? Oh, that's great. Look at that. There you are. That's what you look like when you were laying down. So, Tom, meet Tom. But as you can see, this Tom's a lot more colourful. So, we're going to have to get busy with the paints and the brushes and stuff as well. So, uh, before we do any of that, though, what have we got to do? That's right. We've got to cut it out. And whilst Tom's doing that, I think we'll just find out how the others are doing. How are you all getting on? Hell, we're doing really well, aren't we, Louisa? Hmm? Do you like my teddy? I'll do around my friend Toffee the Bear. There he is, over there, look. Isn't he lovely? He's watching us, hmm? Then I'll cut him out, and now we're going to paint him. That way I'm going to have two teddy bears. Will you pass me the paintbrush, please, Louisa? They're all lovely. What? Give him a good old splodge on his leg. That's his fur, you know. Got to do his paws now. How are you getting on? Are you alright? Yeah, I think he's alright. He's being very quiet. He's concentrating very hard. Wow, I think it looks okay. It's alright. Oh, what's this white paint for, Saliba? Because all the pink hats have been very little colours. Oh, there <laughs> What are these bits here? Hi. Oh, so they are. Silly me. Let's have a look at it, Poppy. Well, I 
Really? I've just finished it. What do you think? I think it looks really nice. I especially like that red bow tie. Mm hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Look at this, Toffee. Meet your twin brother. Hello? Yes. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Perhaps we could call him Coffee. Oh, yes. And Toffee and Coffee. I like that. Dave? Yeah? What's a twin? Oh, what's a twin? Do you know what a twin is? Well, a twin is a brother or a sister who has the same age as you and the same birthday. Well, well in that case, then, I don't think I've got a twin. No, I haven't yeah. got a twin either. Louisa, have you got a twin? Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, you're lucky, aren't you? That is yeah. brilliant. Oh, look, Dave. What? There's lots of twins over there. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Only joking, this is the real me. <laughs> that was good, that wasn't it, Louisa? <laughs> well done, Louisa. Wonderful. Now, luckily, it's stopped raining in the playground now, and our rainbow is coming along really well. Luke and I have nearly finished the red arc on the outside of the rainbow. That looks wonderful. You're nearly finished though, aren't you? Nearly ready to paint another colour. Now, just now we had a bit of a problem, because if you look over here, you can see that we've got some uh, red paint, and some blue paint, and some yellow, and some black, and some white. But no orange paint, which is the next colour we need for our rainbow. Now, this problem has been solved, though, by Carl and Dimple. How do you make this orange paint? With red and yellow. Well, you mix them together? Yeah. Ah, brilliant! Because red mixed with yellow makes orange, which is the next colour, and it looks ready to go now because you've said that nicely. So here's two orange brushes. There you go, off you come, off you dimple. Here we go. I think you can paint the, uh, the next arc on the rainbow, don't you? Should we bring this round here? I'll paint all. It's good fun, this, isn't it? Right. You make a bit of space here, and you could start on painting the next arc. Now, does anybody know what the next colour is in the rainbow? Yellow! Well, actually, now luckily we've got some yellow paint. I'll uh, bring this round, get a bit of stir. So you've finished on the red here. Do you, you two fancy painting some yellow on the next one? Yeah. Got some clean brushes. Now, there we go. Now you can see this yellow spoon, you can hardly see it in this yellow paint, because it's camouflage. Our story today is about camouflage. It's called Slowly Plays Hide and Seek. It's a snail. Slowly the snail. What do the garden creatures play with slowly the snail on a summer's day? You won't find me, the ladybird said, if you search for me all week. Though I'm tiny and shiny and very bright red, I'm the master of hide and seek. So they hid their eyes and to their surprise, when they looked again she was gone. And they found no trace, though they scoured the place, and the search went on and on and on and on. Then somebody tweaked, it's a ladybird trick. She hasn't gone far at all, because she's so red, the ladybirds fled to the poppies that grow by the wall. If you look carefully, you'll see her on one of the petals of the poppies. You won't find me, the grasshopper said. If you search for the rest of the year, though I'm strong and I'm long and green as can be, you'll think that I disappear. So they hit their eyes, and to their surprise, when they looked again, he was gone. And they found no trace, though they scoured the place, and the search went on and on and on and on. And somebody said, it's a grasshopper trick. He hasn't gone far at all. He's long and he's green and he's standing between the grass that grows green and tall. And you'll see when he jumps up, there he goes. You won't find me, the butterfly said, if you look for me all day. Though I'm freckled with wings outspread, you'll think that I've flown away. So they hid their eyes, and to their surprise, when they looked again, she was gone. And they found no trace, though they scoured the place, and the search went on and on and on and on. Then somebody said, it's a butterfly trick. She hasn't gone far at all. She's speckled and brown, so she's just settled down. 
on the speckled brown bricks of the wall. And there she is, yes, she's just twitched her wing. Then it was slowly's turn to hide, slowly the garden snail. First she pulled her horns inside, and then she pulled in her tail. Till the stones of the path and slowly the snail all looked exactly the same. And the creatures all seeking her knew they would fail, and slowly would win the game. You won't find me, said slowly the snail. So I'll tell you where I'm hid. I pulled in my horns and I pulled in my tail. And I did what the others did. So they turned their heads, and just as she said, she was there before their eyes. <laughs> With a smile on her face in an obvious place, though it came as a great surprise. And they laughed and they laughed at her vanishing trick. They laughed till they fell in a heap, and they lay on the lawn till the sunlight had gone. But then they went home to sleep. Our rainbow is nearly finished. Look, it's looking really good. We've painted red and orange and yellow and green. And we made the green paint by mixing yellow and blue. And blue paint. And Luke here is just finishing off indigo. And uh, we've got our final, final colour here, which is... What colour is this? Violet. 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 That's it. And how have you made this violet here? Because you've had to mix some paint here. What colour did you mix, Carl? And Red and blue. And while we're painting the last arc of our rainbow, why don't you see what Lizzie's up to? Hello, what are your favourite colours? Mine are red, blue and green. Come on, let's dance. My favourite colours are red, blue and green. Now this balloon is bright, bright red and this balloon is blue. This balloon is a lovely green, I hope you like them too. My favourite colours are red, blue and green. Here's a red train rolling along and a blue car passing by. And a green boat bobbing on the ocean wave under a clear blue sky. My favourite colours are red, blue and green. Look at my lovely blue jumper and a green hat on my head And watch my feet as I dance around in my brand new shoes of red My favourite colours are red, blue and green Look at this beautiful bright red rose and all of these flowers are blue and all around is the green, green grass. Do you like these colours too? My favourite colours are red, blue and green. I enjoyed that. See you soon. Bye. All grab yourself one piece of paper each to start off with. <laughs> well. Have you got some? Have you got some? Well, the children and I are about to paint something which is going to be as colourful as the clothes that I'm wearing. The children are about to make themselves a painted patchwork quilt. Right, now the thing is you need to go away and start painting nice pretty patterns on the paper. So, away you go. Go on, off you go. I've discovered, look at these, these are rollers and with these right, you'll be able to do a nice rolly pattern so you can use those a little bit later I think, there you go, there's another type of roller, here's another small one, there you go, let's have a look, Oh, I think you finished this one already. Do you want to go and uh, get another piece of paper and do another one? Go on then, off you go, you go and do that. And I'll actually take this one away. What do you think of it? It's pretty nice, doesn't it? There it goes. That's good. I like that one. Do you want to do another one as well? Because that's really nice. I thought we could 
心对你的。Are you finished? Oh, that's good. All right, then let me take that one. Oh, you got tight on me finger. Let's take a look at that. Oh, that's all right then. Well, I'll tell you what. You do me another one, just like this. Come on. You find me another piece of paper, and you can do another pattern for me. Have you finished? Let's have a look. Hey, you most certainly have. Look at this. This is great. Oh yes, this is going to look absolutely wonderful for our quilt. <laughs> have you finished? All right then. Well, I tell you. What, oh yeah, have you finished that one? Well, I tell you, what, I shall take that one away first, and I shall take that one away. That's lovely. Have you finished? Have you finished? Let's have a look at yours then. Whoa, that is finished. All right, <laughs> the look of that. It almost looks like an animal. I like that. That's very good. That's penguin. You've done a pattern there. It's very good. It almost looks like an animal. Oh, are you going to put some more colours with that? Uh, right. Let's see. You peel it off, and we'll find out what's going on underneath. Here we go. Get ready. See what happens. Whoa! Well done. Look at that. You've got two patterns there. Absolutely well done. Simon and I have decided to do a pattern together. Yes, and we're using these paint roll-on things to do it, aren't we, Simon? Mm hmm. So what do I have to do then? You give me one of those paints, do you? What colour? Blue. Oh, blue. Can I have the blue one, please? Lovely, lovely. Right. Mm. Do I make some patterns on the paper? More ones. Some more. Oh, over here. Shall I do it? Yes. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's very clever, isn't it, I like that? Yes, very good. Um, are you going to do some too? Why don't you do some here? Oh, yes. Oh, that's lovely. Looks really nice, eh? Look at that. Look, well done. I like that. And now you're going to add some green. Oh, have you finished? Hey, look at this. This is great. There's a nice stripy pattern there from William, and also another stripy pattern there from Jan. And as soon as the patchwork paintings are dry, we can stick them together and go to bed. Hmm? Like this. <laughs> Well, I thought that painted patchwork quilt was lovely, didn't you? Now it's raining again here in the playground, but we don't mind, do we? No! Because we've got our wonderful rainbow to cheer us up. And what are the colours again? Red, Red orange, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Fantastic! All the colours of the rainbow. You could paint or colour a rainbow as well. It doesn't have to be as big as our one. You could do a little one, just like that. There's the bus bell, which means it's time for us to go. But we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Goodbye!